I want to talk about how to choose a stage name today. Um, my last name is Rasche, which is very tricky to pronounce if you're not German and don't know how the SCH thingy works. So I realized very quickly that in order to work in the US and the UK, which I mostly would want to do, it would be practical to have a name that everybody can pronounce. Um, so I have the unique opportunity to choose a stage name, to choose my own last name, which is fascinating. Um, so here's what I came across. Um, choosing a stage name can be tricky because there's a lot of advice what you should do and what makes a name good. Uh, people tell you that your last name should be also a, a name that's a first name, like Robert or Paul as a last name. Can it be a, a very short name that is very easy to remember, like Brad Pitt, just one syllable each? Can maybe go for a three element name, like Julia Louis Dreyfus, Joseph Gordon Lewitt, which if you like it, uh, or if you like these kinds of names, can be very nice for you. Um, if you don't want to change your, your first name, um, you can go for something that's symmetrical. My first name has two vowels, maybe my last name can have two vowels as well. In the end, um, I think it's about taste and it's about what you like. I find three arguments to be compelling, which is choose a name you like, choose a name that's pronounceable, uh, and choose a name that, that fits you, your backstory, your origin. So don't choose a crazy Spanish name if you're from Asia. Just, that's just a little bit there. So, how did I go at it? I checked out a ton of uh, online name databases, which are the most common last names in the US, which are the most common last names in the UK. Um, what are last names that are Germanic or come from the Germanic area? So which are the names that maybe fit me better because they are from the area where I'm from but are internationally used? Um, and I came down with a short list of names that I find interesting that either start with the same letter my original last name starts with or start with the same letter that my first name starts with. Uh, and then I decided to, okay, I have no clue what will do well. I have no clue what I like because I spent a few days on this. And this is too big of a decision to make over a few days in a sense because it's going to be my name. So I decided to try it out and I can recommend the same to you. Um, there's just two things to check before. Check if the IMDB name is already being used. So if somebody has the same first and last name already, then that's kind of occupied already and that's tricky to, to work with. So maybe then go for a different one. And check if the .com domain is still free. And if both are safe, just try the name out for a month or three. See what it brings. See how people react to it. See if you notice something that you want to change. Does it ring? Does it sound well to you? Uh, even after a week or a month? And if you then don't like it, you can change it. Uh, and that's my best advice that I can give. Uh, I tried to name Marcel Roberts for three months in the US. And upon returning to Germany, I only realized that Germans don't really can, can't really work with the name Roberts because it's very American. Uh, and also, my first name has the pronunciation on the second vowel, Marcel, and Roberts has the pronunciation on the first vowel, Roberts. And that also doesn't sound as nice as if I would choose a name with the pronunciation on the second vowel. So I'm now trying out different names. Um, Hagen was interesting because it's a city where I'm from. Um, I could maybe go for a French last name as well because my first name is French and that's still European. Uh, but I'm still developing. I'm just trying different things out and uh, I can just recommend you to do the same. Try stuff out and enjoy it. Bye bye.